The Social Discipline Theory by Rudolf Dreikers. Dreikers was highly influenced by social psychologist Alfred Adler. Adler believed that every human wants to belong and feel accepted by others. He held the belief that all humans are social beings, thus all behavior, including misbehavior, is orderly, purposeful, and directed towards receiving social approval. But why do children misbehave? Misbehavior is the result of not being accepted. All misbehavior is a result of a child's mistaken assumption about how to belong and gain status. So Dreiker proposed four types of misbehavior. Attention getting, power and control, revenge, and helplessness slash inadequacy. The first one, attention getting. There are two types of attention seekers, active and passive. An active attention seeker displays a lot of attention getting mechanisms. For example, a student may tap their pencil on their desk, speak out of turn, or may ask for the teacher's help. Whereas a passive attention seeker does not disrupt the whole class, but instead may dawdle, are slow to complete their assignments, and are the last ones to open their books. For power and control, the students will follow feelings of inferiority. They may attempt to publicly demonstrate their power against others. Students may do this by verbally or physically breaking down others' achievements. Children are held to different standards than adults during such conflict, so it's easier for them to gain, keep, and demonstrate their power. Strict behavior rules will only make the children act out more so that they get the upper hand. For revenge, a student will believe that all mistreatment is intentional, resulting in the false assumption that others do not like them. These students can be highly aggressive and they mis may mistreat others because they have been treated inadequately and want to avenge their injustice. The hostility attribution bias is the tendency of individuals with high hostility to infer that others are being hostile towards them in the face of ambiguous behavior while the expectancy confirmation is when the beliefs about a personality, characteristics of others, cause one to evoke actions in others that are consistent with the initial belief. For helplessness and inadequacy, a child has given up on him or herself and the misbehavior is, no, is the not doing, not doing homework, not participating, not cooperating, and the child will benefit from small successes. Praise versus encouragement. Praise is the, a reward given for a completed achievement. Praise tells students that they have satisfied the demands of others. Praise is patronizing as the person who praises has a superior position, but praise stimulates competition. In contrast, encouragement is acknowledging an effort. It stimulates cooperation and helpfulness. It also helps students to evaluate their own performance. Dreikers recommends using encouragement. He says encouragement is more important than any other aspect of child raising because a misbehaving child is a discouraged child. Logical consequences versus punishment. A logical consequence is a reasonable result that follows a behavior that can be desirable or undesirable. It encourages students to do right what they have done wrong. Drakers recommends having a democratic classroom so students know the consequences ahead of time. For example, Johnny writes on the walls, the teacher asks Johnny to clean off the walls. For punishment, this is inflicting a penalty for misbehavior. For example, Johnny writes on the walls so you keep him in for recess. Here are some real life examples of the social discipline model in action, as well as some helpful hints for us as teachers. Created using Powtoon. Miss Fiona, look! Look at this, look 
Don't tell mine to tell us in the class. I know it. Good job. <laughs> yeah, but look. Look, I can put another one. Do you want to do it with me? Do. I'm sorry. Why? I need your help. I want you to help me. Come on. You're doing a good job on your own. Here's a tip to minimize attention getting behavior. Minimize attention. Example, give the student the look or stand close to them. Good job, Em. Your tower is looking really tall. <laughs> Kelly, build hers back up right now. Ugh. Build hers up. <laughs> Kelly? Kelly, you can't ignore me. Look at what she did! power and control behaviors. Timeouts are not an effective consequence for this behavior because it distances the child even more from what or whom they are seeking out and increases their feelings of inferiority. Oh, look at my tower! <gasps> oh no, it wasn't Did you see what? I don't believe you, she did it on purpose! Here's a tip for revenge behavior. Demonstrate respect, understanding, and assistance for the child by highlighting the importance of cooperation and solidarity. Look at that. Don't worry. You're doing a good job. Here, let me my, You're only helping me because you think you have to help me. I'm not smart enough to build this. It's getting there. Don't worry. Never gonna get it. Look, I have a star. For helplessness behavior, do not pity the child. Use encouragement. Say things like, wow, you must be so proud of yourself for getting all that work done, or you must be happy that you finished. 